Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I want to show you how to install the WSL on Windows and how to set up for Laravel development. I had a comment on YouTube and I'm going to show you in this video. So first thing, let's search for the command prompt and we need to open as a administrator. So let's say it's CMD here and run as administrator. Select yes here, and yeah, here we are. Now let's say WSL there dash install. Hit enter. Say yes here, and now installing the Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, so Ubuntu has been installed, and we need to reboot the Windows. So let's reboot and see you in the next part. Okay, so here we are. We need to add the username here and the username does not need to match your Windows username. So I'm going to say just Tony here, hit enter. And then we need to add also the password. Type your password and hit enter and you re need to retype that. And hit enter again. And now installation successful. Okay, I'm going to create this uh, file. So I'll just copy that and say touch hit enter good I'm going to close this now if you click here we have Ubuntu okay so let's zoom it for you and now let's say sudo app update first add the password you have typed hit enter okay then let's say sudo app upgrade Hit enter again. Okay. Now I'm going to install the build essential, the curl file, git and git core. So you can pause the video and type this. In your terminal, hit enter. Hit enter again. Okay. Then I'm going to install the Z shell because I like to work with a Z shell. So let's say sudo app install the shell hit enter say yes again enter good then let's open the chrome browser and let's search here for oh my zeus go to this and install oh my zeus here we need to copy this you this code and let's Open the terminal and paste that in. Hit enter. Now clone in all my Zeus. And do you want to change your default shell to Z shell? I want. So let's say yes. Enter. Add the password. Type your password and hit enter. And now we have all my Zeus here. Now let's start and set up our machine for Laravel development. And first thing, I'm going to install the node.js. I'm going to install the node.js through the NVM, but also you can install through the node.js. So if you go here to the node.js, go to downloads and scroll down. Here we have installed the node.js via package manager and you can select your own. So in our case is uh, Ubuntu, which is right here. Let's go to this one and go to the installation and here we have. Just copy this command and add to your terminal and hit enter. But as I said, I want to install through the NVM. So first I'm going to install the NVM and I'm going to paste here the this line of code. So curl HTTPS and you can pause the video and type all the code here and hit enter. Now cloning into on Tony the NVM. Okay, now we need to close this and reopen the C because right now if I say NVM here, command not found. So let's close and let's open Ubuntu again and I'm going to zoom it. So now if I say NVM, yeah, and here we have NVM install node, 
install the latest available version. So let's copy that and run nvm install node. Okay, it's going to download and install in node version 20.5. Installed. Now if I say node dash version, we have the latest one and also the npm dash version, we have the latest one. Good. Let's say sudo apt update, add the password and hit enter. I'm going to install Apache, so let's say sudo apt install apt Apache 2, hit enter, enter again. Good. Now if I say sudo systemctl and say status for Apache 2 is active. Okay. Now let's uh, install the PHP. Okay, so first I'm going to say sudo apt update. Good. Then I'm going to add the repository. So sudo add apt repository dash y ppa Andre PHP. Hit enter. Good. Let's run us again the sudo update just in case. And then what version of uh, PHP you need to add. So in my case, I want the latest. So the PHP 8.2 and I'm going to install also all of the extensions we need for Laravel. So I'm going to just paste here the command. Okay, so here we have sudo apt install PHP 8.2 and also all the extensions we need for Laravel. Okay, and then hit enter. Hit enter again. Now let's install the composer. So let's go here and say get composer go to the download and just copy the commands we have here okay installation verified copy this one and then also this one here good the last one copy this sudo move the composer part, use a local bin composer, copy and paste it here. If I say composer, yeah, now we have the composer here. If I close this and let's open again, Ubuntu, and let's zoom it a little bit, and let's say composer again. Good. Now let's install the MySQL. So I'm going to say sudo up update add your password and hit enter and i'm going to say sudo apt install mysql server hit enter again okay now if i say sudo mysql hit enter good now i'm going to add a password for my root account so let's say alter user single quote a root single quote at localhost at single quote localhost and here we need to say identified with mysql native password by and here add the password so for example the secret password here. okay i just add the secret but you can add your secret password hit enter query okay then la now let's exit from here we are good let's say for sudo system ctl status for mysql and is active good now I use uh, table plus, but you can use what you like. Next thing, I want to install the 
Laravel installer. So let's say composer global require and the name of the package we see is Laravel slash installer. Hit enter. Okay, now using the version 5.0 of Laravel and let's say make directory I'm going to name it code you can name it what you like let's see the in the code okay and one more thing I want to install is to install the unzip on uh, Ubuntu so let's say sudo apt install unzip hit enter up the password and hit enter again very good Let's say sudo apt update for the last time. And now let's say Laravel new hit enter. Yeah, it's working, but I'm going to close this and reopen. So let's open again Ubuntu and let's zoom it. And let's see the in the code. Okay, let's say Laravel new again and it's work. So what is the name of your project? Let's say test here, hit enter, select Laravel Breeze or no starter kit, test, no and hit enter and create the Laravel project. Okay, now the project is ready. Let's see the in the test directory and say PHP artisan Sir. Okay, let's open this on uh, Chrome. Hit enter and here is the project. Okay friends, that's it about this video. How to set up the WSL on Windows for Laravel development. All the best and see you in the next video.